I'm working on a loose page from my art journal today. This one is about five inches by eight inches. And I'm going to start with three deco art media fluid acrylics. One is pyrrol orange, one is quinacridone red, and the other is quinacridone magenta. So you can see I'm going ahead and getting a rough coat of color down to start. And then I'm going to use a stencil and apply paint with a makeup wedge, a cosmetic sponge. You want to use as little paint as possible when you're using it through a stencil to avoid it from seeping underneath. I go ahead and do that in a few areas and then dry it. That stamp is from Stampers Anonymous. It's one of my favorites from way, way back. And it's going to look fantastic in black archival ink on top of the Deco Art Fluid Acrylics. I like how that pops. I'm going to go ahead and do some more stenciling now with a different color paint. Looks like I have the magenta. And since I have grid lines in that stencil, I'm being careful to line it up in a straight way. I normally don't worry much about that, but when you do have lines, it's particularly noticeable if you are slanted. And you may not mind that, but just keep it, keep it in mind as you decide where you're placing your stencil. Here's another Stampers Anonymous stamp. Being careful to dry so I'm not smudging anything. And that one is from Aladdin. It's a French company. I'm using a lighter color ink now because I want it to sink into the background. I would only use that black for my main focal images. And I was thinking about where I wanted to put that fountain pen stamp, in, in what direction I would go. But I decided to just add a little bit more stenciling first. This is some um, plumbing tape from the hardware store. I thought I had squeezed out some black ink there, but apparently I had confused my bottles. So when I went to go ahead and make these speckle marks by flicking the paintbrush, I realized I actually had a beautiful blue that's a Prussian blue hue. So rather than waste it, I took what was still wet and quickly painted a tag. That's why that seems so out of place there. But you never want to waste paint, right? So there I had put post-its, torn post-its to cover the face so nothing would get on it when I was doing the flecking. And now I have the correct black paint and I'm going ahead and edging my page. When I put this back in my art journal, I'm not sure if I'll put it in on a left or a right hand facing page. That's why I'm covering all four sides. Really only three need to be painted, but this gives me the flexibility later of putting it in wherever I want. This is a piece of acrylic packaging I'm going to lay down and stamp on so I'll know before I commit to my page, I'll know where I really want to put that stamped image. I decided to go with kind of a tiered effect and do three of them. That packaging has saved the day for me a number of times. The next thing I did was just to take some very small circular stamps and add interest. And there you have it, a finished page. Thank you for watching. Please check out everything available to you on the decoart.com website and on mine as well, margiekemper.com.